What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Yo, it's Joey. And it's David. And this is another Downtune Brew Review. This is Brew Review number 50. This is the Big 5-0. I know. We're doing it. Holy mother of gosh. I know. So, this uh, this one's going to be a uh, Cafeteria Bowling. It is a uh, sour from Kushwa Brewing Co. and Evergreen Brewing. Okay, so... Uh, a little side note here, I apologize in advance for the wind noise if there's any, so if you can hear it, please don't mind it. It's a really windy day, and we do our brew reviews outside, so... Do you know what? I mean, do, it, it is what it is. Yeah, it, We're not happy with, about it. Bear with us here. So, yeah, uh, Kush was out of Williamsport, Maryland, and Evergreen's from Camp Hill, PA. Um, so what we're drinking here is <laughs> Cafeteria Bowling... Uh, graham crackers, kiwi punch, marshmallows, and that's it. Yeah, I mean, that's... It's a fruited sour, and it is 6% ABV. So, I'm interested. I've never had anything from Kushwa before. Yep. Or Evergreen. Maybe... I've, I've had Kushwa. Have we had Evergreen before? Yeah, uh, Jake had, uh, Evergreen sour whenever it was a new place that one time. Oh, that was evergreen. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, so, it looks off of it. It looks uh, kind of greenish, kind of like kiwi. Kind of kiwi. There's a lot of residue in this from the uh, the fruits. Like, it, yeah. Yep. When you look at like some of the out of orders uh, from uh, raw brewing, and uh, you know, like Dewey, you see, you don't see so much um, residue at the bottom. But this one, there's a lot of residue, like. A lot of that. Uh, oh, I do see that. Look, look a lot of that, that sludge. Yeah, it's a lot of sludge. I don't know if that's like lactose or something like that, or like milk. But I don't know. I don't know, but it smells interesting. Go ahead, let's go for it. That's really good, though. Yeah. I, I mean, you know. All right. You definitely know that it's genuine because. As soon as we both take a sip, we look at each other in the eyes, and we're just like, yeah. man, this is good. Yeah. But is it a five? I mean, not everything's going to be a five, and, like, I'm cool with that. Yeah. Like, it's, I mean, it's unrealistic, really. We don't rate a lot of things a five. But with this one, I'll say this. It's got kiwi. I get the kiwi. Yeah. But, um, like, I'm not usually big on kiwi, but I think the graham cracker and the marshmallow... They like it. It's almost like a kiwi pie type thing I'm getting here. Okay, yeah, I'm yeah. not gonna lie, I kind of get that. Yeah, it's um very subtle, if anything. Yeah, but it's really good. The flavors complement each other, and that's the important thing. Sometimes you get a lot of flavors and they don't complement each other, but this time, I get yeah, they're complementing all right. Yeah. Yeah. So what are we gonna go for rating? Uh, I talked a lot already about what I feel about it. Um. I'll go ahead and say this one to me is a solid 4.5. Okay. Yeah. That's honestly um, what I was thinking, 4.5. Um, just because it is really good. Uh, it's not quite up um, up there with some of the other contenders, but um, it is very good and it's very smooth. Um, it's light. It's not thick. So like downing one of these is like, Pretty easy. Yeah, on a hot summer day, like this is like my this kick is like, back by the pool. This is like a go to, right? Oh, here. yeah. It's it, kiwi, man. Yeah, I mean, like, seriously, this is impressive because, like, I don't know. You, I, I don't hear a lot about either of these breweries. Like, Kushwa, I feel like I've heard a little bit about Kushwa. But Evergreen's kind of new to me, and they're kind of bursting onto the scene with this one. Yeah. So, um,. That's all we really have for this review. It's kind of shorter, I guess. But um, I uh, before we head out, uh, you know, keep up with the comments and stuff like that. Um, we see what you write. We pay attention. We try to respond to them as much as possible. I know in the, the greatest hits release, you know, they saw how the the blueberry waffle whip or whipped cream waffles, like it wasn't as thick. 
pouring and maybe we weren't doing something right so like i i don't know but if you guys are seeing if you have this yeah. one so before every time we do a beer it's like sitting here on the table upside down so that we distribute <laughs> this we roll it all that jazz because we want to make sure it's like evenly distributed throughout the can yeah, before it, it gets poured yeah, so yeah that's how we do it and i mean i'm not gonna lie there's been a couple of times where we forgot but i'm i know for the Add water as we did it for every single can. Yeah, so, and then and then in between each each beer, we would put them in the fridge upside down, so they're staying cool. They're they're getting the flavors distributed. I I don't know. Maybe it was just that particular batch. I'm not a uh, fortune teller, so yeah, I, I don't I, know. But, I don't know. Yeah, but we like listen to people. Like someone yeah. said, the music was bothering them. Well, all right. I was thinking about you, Hinoch Fenty video. Yeah. And yeah, we were like, we agree, and we cut it out. So. um can't get better unless unless we listen to you guys. Dude, we're try he got like some new software that we're trying out. It's actually pretty cool. So yeah, um, videos should be better quality from here on out. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> so um, keep liking the videos, keep commenting, keep subscribing. Tell us what you want to see. Get your friends to subscribe. We're at fifty now. We're at the big five zero. I'm telling you right now, if you can get us to fifty, we're only two subscribers away. Get us to 50, and I will do something cool. I promise. I promise. Get us to 50. I will do something really, really special and cool for you guys. Pay attention. Yep. And this has been another Downtown Brew Review. And until next time, stay, stay classy. classy. Right about